and or live. Thank you for tuning in today. I will be joined by Miss Gabby Streeter here in a few minutes as she's popping on. I want to thank you guys for tuning in this week before Christmas. How many people are barely hanging on these days? I know I have my moments. I was a very big lazy bump on a log over the weekend, but it's okay. It's okay to do that because sometimes our bodies need to, and sometimes we have to listen to our bodies. So here is Gabby popping and we will talk about some good old topics today. There she is. Hello, hello. hello again. Oh, oh my god, we're like matching with our right. Ah! We did not plan this. So maybe oh, we look should at go. Us. Great I know, eyes. I kind of like this. I was just thinking we should totally have like little reindeer ears on oh and like I have red pants on. <laughs> That's cute. I I don't have like I was looking at our our Christmas stuff this year and like we don't have anything like wearable for holiday gear. I I guess like we've either grown out of it or it's broken or it was really old and like so every time that we move we kind of downsize some stuff and so I'm like I don't know if we need to go and catch some stuff on sale at the Hobby Lobby after the holidays or what, but we need some some cute stuff like that. So, yeah. But we are here to talk about some really uh, kind of, we were just talking about this. Sometimes this stuff is a little bit harder to talk about, but we're going to start easy and we're going to share our stories and um, why we're here today, what brought us to this point. So if you would have told me, let's say two and a half years ago that I would be doing stuff like this every week with people that, you know, never met before and having all these, you know, lives and going on my stories, I would have told you that you're crazy because I'm not that type of person. I'm not, I'm not somebody that shares like the, the vulnerable side. I'm not the type of person that, you know, talks about how I've improved my life or anything like that. It didn't make, it, it wouldn't have made sense. So I hit a personal a personal rock bottom. And my version of rock bottom is different than yours, different than any of the viewers, different than my husband's, different than anybody's. Like you hit a, a rock bottom when your body and your mind tells you you do. And so I was 15 months postpartum from having my son. And I was doing that roller coaster weight game with uh, crash diets. I struggled to lose the weight when um, I was breastfeeding with him and it was just pound by pound. It didn't make any sense because it was the heaviest I'd ever been. And so my best friend brought me this nutrition system and I was like, okay, I'm never doing the business. I'm never going to do that, but I'll take it because I knew I needed some help. And so I remember specifically telling her as she was signing me up, I didn't really know the verbiage or what to say. I just said, put me in a place where it's going to benefit me if I ever do want to do the business one day. And she got all excited. She's like, really? You want to do the business? And I said, no, 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 no. This is an insurance plan. This is just in case I need it. And so I didn't really know what that meant, but I didn't want her to put me somewhere, you know, that wouldn't be helpful is my, my way of thinking of it. So they're learning now after being in the business and doing the business for a year and a half, there is no bad place, but I wanted to make sure that just in case I had somewhere to land, there was, well, I didn't know that like three or four months later, I would be taking her up on that offer. And it was around the pandemic. It was when I was getting ready to move to California. And it was in this place where um, I didn't know the fate of my next nursing job. And so I decided to share with a few people for the health benefits, the same reasons why I started. And I slowly realized that there was more to this company than just the health benefits. The health benefits alone are amazing. And I would, I would share this if I didn't get paid. But when the paychecks started coming in that like, I didn't get paid any differently as a nurse if I gave somebody a solution that saved their life or not. I didn't get paid any more for doing CPR one day than the next day if I didn't do CPR. I didn't get paid by drug companies. Sometimes they would bring us lunch, but I didn't get paid by any administrative staff. I didn't get raises even at some of my establishments I worked at. And so all of this just started making sense from somebody who never had any business background that like, wow, you know, I could put effort into this and I could see return. Whereas I put more effort into nursing and I wouldn't see any return. And so 
here I am um, a year and a half later from doing the business, two, over two years from doing the nutrition, and I have nothing but positive things to say. I've lost 90 pounds. I'm over, um, over $15,000 richer from this company. I mean, like, why not share that? Like, we don't talk about how much we get paid in other jobs, but in network marketing, you can you can bring it up. You can absolutely talk about it. And it's hard for us to, to bring that point up, but I've enriched other people's lives. There's nobody that came to me and said like, Sadie, I'm worse off from trying your stuff. Nobody. Everybody has tried it, whether they chose to continue or not, that's their choice. It's their money, it's their lives. But the people that have chosen to make this a lifestyle and have chosen to bring in the income opportunity has completely just, blown their lives away and so i'm so happy to be able to be a part of something like this so that's a little bit different than my normal story but what about you gabby how has this been oh my goodness you? yours is different than mine yeah oh uh, i feel like it's been such a roller coaster and thank you so much for doing this and for having me on and for just taking the time to talk about this because it is so needed right now and i feel like I have just completely changed how I do this business now. I mean, I, and this happens, right? We can be real and we can talk authentically and honestly. There are no smoke and mirrors with Sadie and I. We're going to tell you how it is. We're not going to sugarcoat anything. We both understand what this is like. So I started the business and I, I did it to get healthy, but I did it because I saw that this woman who I enrolled under, she was helping people live the life of their dreams. And they sent me this video and there's this, this whole segment of our company called Start Your Life. And it's all about 18 to 35 year olds living the life of their dreams, living a life of choice. And I grew up, both of my parents are entrepreneurs, brick and mortar businesses, and extremely um, not as successful as I would have liked to see them growing up, right? It's hard work, okay? And I'm not saying this to you know belittle anyone, but especially going through the pandemic, we know how difficult employees are right now. My husband has, you know, brick and mortar business that he runs and it's stressful. So growing up, I saw the benefits, like my dad raised us. We didn't really go to daycare. We rode around on the four wheeler with him. So I saw the value of parents being with their kids, right? Full time and helping them develop. And I saw being able to travel and work when you want to work and work from home and the benefits of that or your wherever your phone is wherever you want to work from maybe it's the pool one day so I saw all of that and I knew it was there but I have to be honest with you guys I haven't done it right the whole time um, early on my mentor actually decided to pursue a different business which is totally fine that happens we're just going to be honest with you one thing I love is that we work as a team right so even though I have felt maybe a little bit alone sometimes like we all do going through life and going through our businesses there's always been someone that I can connect with and share my heart with that can lean on their beliefs while I build my own. And that's something that I'm still doing to this very day. So it was really hard though. And I did a lot of things like recreating the wheel and I, I made money, but I felt like I wasn't building and mentoring people. And that's something literally in the last couple months that I have just really sought God. I'm like, hey, I want to build this business in a way that honors and glorifies you, not just putting my stuff out there, not just posting things to post pictures and, and sharing what's real and, and how can we really help serve people. So how I did the business in the past was kind of salesy, kind of copy and paste. And you can tell because it didn't get as big. It didn't build a foundation like I wanted it to. And so I'm learning now. I had to take a little bit of a step back and we're just keeping it authentic with you guys. This happens in life. Sometimes you have to look outside yourself and see the big picture and be like, whoa, do I need to pivot? Am I doing this the right way? And that is what I have gone through the last couple of months. And now I'm like, okay, I'm excited for this. And we'll share that with you guys in a little bit, like where we're going. But like you said, Sadie, same thing, like tens of thousands of dollars in the last six years. Like, yes, I've transformed my body. Yes, we have like the best superfood nutrition that you will find. And it is the most affordable to way, way to live a healthy lifestyle. It's tested safe for pregnant nursing moms. You need this in your bodies. If you're watching this and you're nursing or pregnant, you need the superfood nutrition in your bodies. Okay. You will feel so much better. I've done it. Okay, two healthy babies, two under two. But more importantly, living a life that allows you to eat healthy. Like I remember when you eat McDonald's dollar, you know, menu food and then ramen and then something from some can, you know, from a can. Like, yeah, you're only spending five bucks a day, but is that serving you? Is that helping you? And you need to get to a point to elevate your life. And 
afford to eat whole foods throughout the day and afford to not worry about, well, if I buy this bag of lettuce, am I going to have a salad or am I just going to waste it? Like get there where you deserve to live a healthy, joyful and abundant life that's healthy and wholesome. So that's kind of where I'm at now. And my whole money mindset has had to shift and I've had to grow and grow and grow. And sometimes you guys, people start network marketing and they're in a really good place. They have a lot of great, like high level achievers and they take off. I feel like when I started, I didn't know anyone. I, I was a lot around a lot of victim mindset mentality people, and that's truly who I was. So this has caused me to elevate and really up my game and completely change and develop as a, as a woman, as a leader, and create a whole different life for myself than if I didn't do it. So that's kind of my story. It doesn't matter where you are starting right now. What matters is where you're going and seeing that progress every day. So we're going to get into this. First things first, we're going to bust some network marketing myths. So what are some concerns that you have about entrepreneurship, network marketing? Let's talk about it. Again, no smoke and mirrors here. A lot of people that we work with, they're afraid that they have to make money off their friends, right? Well, I don't want them. I don't want to make money off them. That doesn't feel good. Okay, well, let me ask you this. When Target does a little like refer a friend here by, you know, they get 10 off, we get 10 off. What do you do? You bring them there. Okay, what about when you go to a movie theater? Okay, they're making money off of you when you bring your friends, right? You guys are all going together. And more importantly, this is an avenue to help them live the life of their dreams, help them get healthy. Mm -hmm. My friend Chelsea, she started this, she lost 50 pounds, doesn't work out at all, okay? She referred someone, she, she shared her story, right? The power of sharing a story. She referred someone, Tom, who has lost 100 pounds, you guys, 100 pounds. That's amazing. We have a whole hundred pound club and I was watching their stories the other day and I was just crying because we do, we have the power to change people's lives and make people's lives better. And when you don't, like, you literally cannot keep that to yourself. I think it's so incredibly selfish. If you have a way to help people and you choose not to like, yeah. come on, elevate, let's go. So um, people say all the time, I'm not a salesperson and you know, I get it. I don't like the whole sales thing. I don't like feeling pushy and inauthentic. So, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to say this across the whole profession. I'm going to say we have a way to do it. We have a system in place where it is authentic. It is you building your brand. We'll teach you how to brand yourself. We'll teach you how to share your story authentically. No smoke and mirrors. We don't make unfulfilled promises. We're not going to do that with you. There is a really beautiful professional way to share your business. And there's a really sleazy salesy way to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to make a choice, which one's going to be you. And then a lot of people will say it costs too much. And that just goes back again to like, are you used to cheap living? Are you used to barely putting, you know, anything good into your body just to get by? And you can tell because guess what? It's going to catch up with you. It's going to catch up with your health, your sleep, how, how much chaos do you have in your life and how are you feeling? Like peace of mind, being able to go to sleep at night without caring what people say or think about you and my head hits the pillow, I'm out because I know that I'm better today than I was yesterday and I don't care what anyone else thinks. So going into that, you guys, this truly just helps you elevate who you are. So if you have any other myths that you want us to talk about, again, no smoke and mirrors, put them in the comments, we will address them. So now back to you, Miss Sadie, talking about some yes. and don'ts. I love it. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things that anybody can come into network marketing. There's no, there's no interview process. There's nothing. You just sign up and go. You don't even have to sign up underneath a person. You can go to the Isogenics website and just sign up and they'll put you under somebody. And so there's no prerequisite. We don't go through this vetting process where we're like, we know that they're a good person. We know that they're a, you know, business trained individual, like anybody can do it. So people come into this business and sometimes leave like a poop stain behind them because they don't know all these things that we're talking about. And then that's why people end up seeing like this bad experience with, because somebody before us who didn't do it authentically. And so that goes into the do's and don'ts here. So one thing that, you know, we always ask our people when they come in, is this going to be you know, a side gig, like a hobby for you, just something that's like, you know, I'm going to do it in my spare pockets. I have a full-time corporate job and I love it. I'm just going to do this in the pockets. Okay, good. You know, you're not going to build a multi-million dollar empire by doing that, <laughs> you know, but if you turn this into a business and you treat it like a business, like I used to work three, 12 hours a week, three, 12 hour shifts a week. And I don't put that much time into isogenic. So I don't make as much as I did from that. I also went to college for over four years to get that degree. I've only been doing this now for a year and a half. And so when I've been there for four years, you know, 
at that point, I may be making more than what I was as a nurse because I've built all those skills. And so you do want to treat it like a business. Even if you do it in the spare pockets of your time, you sit down and you have business hours where you're like, okay, this is the time where I'm going to be spending on reach outs. And I'm going to talk to people about this opportunity. And we help you on how to do that. It's not like it's something where just say, go to the deep end and figure out how to swim. We are swimming with you. We are jumping in with you. We're there. We're your life vest. We're there, you know, breathing it into you. When we just said, you know, Gabby said, don't, we don't copy and paste. We're not some, we're not, we don't promote in our team to be a robot. <clears throat> Every person's different. I'm not going to go on to, you know, Jenny's page and say, you know, like, how are you? How's life? And, and Jenny just lost a, a family member. Like that's super, you know, rude and, and distant, genuine. Like I'm going to go and I'm going to say what's going on in your life. Cause I genuinely care. And those who know both of us know that we have a heart for caring for people. So why would that change just because there's money involved? It doesn't. I mean, the fact that I went to the VA today for a, genu a routine appointment, it was something that I had to follow up on. And I just watched the way that I was treated there. And these people don't care about their jobs. They go in there and they clock in and out. They're, they're just literally doing what they have to do the bare minimum to get by. And so do you think my care there was superb? And we all know that the VA has, you know, doesn't treat its people well. And so when you talk about people go where they feel happy, I don't feel happy at a place like that. I feel happy in a place with isogenics because we are all about each other up in a consistent manner. If somebody starts, you know, like disappearing and not saying much or this and that, like we're going to reach out to them and be like, are you okay? Like what's going on? And it's not in any other way, but that we truly genuinely care about them because we build up on personal development and you can't help others unless you help yourself first. And so we talk about being coachable and we talk about being consistent because those are two areas that if you like both Gabby and I were trying to invent the wheel, reinvent the wheel, like that, that can, you get in your own way sometimes. And we were talking earlier before this call where sometimes a great opportunity will come up and we're like, what do we do? whoa, what do we do? It's like a deer in the headlights because like sometimes our instinct because of our past is to self-sabotage and to like stop us from, from propelling. And so we are there to help people through moments like that because we've been through it and we still go through it because we're all human. And there's going to be days where we do things that, that don't forward us in any way. And, and, you know, it's, it's something that you can come into this business and just be a product user and fall in love with the products and, and enjoy everything that we have to offer because we know our stuff is top quality and top notch. And then the belief will build into you enough to share and do the business, or you can jump in and just see what happens if you do the business simultaneously with your health, because accountability is huge. And if you have a friend that you jump in with or two friends that you jump in with, you're more likely to keep going because you have skin in the game with the money and you have accountability partners. And so that is where we have the most retention and we have the best ha happiest customer experience overall because people are doing it with those that they care and love about and then they can also earn money as well as feeling good themselves and so it's getting past those limiting beliefs it's learning what works and what doesn't and running with the people that light you up you know you don't have to run with people that are in your direct upline that make money from your contributions and i can out earn the people above me I can out earn any of them and be the bottom rank. That's what the, the term multi-level media or multi, multi-level media, multi-level marketing <laughs> comes into place. It's like, we are not technically an MLM because as the lowest rank, I can make more than the highest rank. Like that's just the beauty of having all different ways of earning money with this business. And so um, to kind of, you know, wrap up the last couple of points here, Gabby, like what most excites you about this? network you know this income opportunity like what is the most exciting oh to gosh. you about what we do oh there's so many different things and I feel like I, I honestly you guys I was feeling a little burnt out okay like we've all been there I even did a poll about this in my stories and I was like have you ever felt burnt out in your business and a lot of people have so again if you're feeling that way it's normal, right? Just like building any kind of business, brick and mortar, like people who aren't entrepreneurs feel burnt out in their business. How much more 
do we need to elevate ourselves and pour into ourselves and fill up our cup when we are our own bosses, right? But it really goes back to like learning to dream again. And one of the things that we're excited about is like, we want to travel with friends. Like we want the people that we work with to really be our friends, like genuine friends. You're not just a customer to me. I want to go on trips with you. I want to do events with you. I want to form relationships that are lasting. And to get even more specific, I want our kids to grow up together and I want us to have the same values. Like, I think that's what I'm most excited about is through this pandemic, what it's taught me is, you know, we were not meant to be alone. Right. And even my poor husband, I love him dearly, but he cannot be everything to me and all the girlfriendiness that I need. And, and it's not right of me to expect him to, even though he does a pretty darn good job, but having those friends surrounding ourselves with other women who, who we elevate together. And when we're having a bad day, they're not going to sugarcoat it. They're going to let us cry. They're going to hand me the tissues you know, people that aren't into the whole hustle because they truly love their lives and where they're at, but do work hard and are authentic. And then we play really hard. So I have on my vision board um, to rent out a big like mansion house in somewhere where there's ocean, like ocean right out front. And we're going to play volleyball together and we're going to sit out there together and we're going to have drinks around a fire together. <laughs> and, and like, we're going to work really hard to get there. And then we're going to get there and isogenics is going to pay for all of it because that's what this does and it, we're going to work there too right like we'll do calls mm -hmm. for each other and we'll do pictures of each other and take beautiful pictures with the ocean setting in the background and put our arms around each other and do little leg kicks like that's really what i want to see that's what i'm most excited about right now working from wherever i want whenever i want with whomever i want people that i truly love so that's kind of what excites me right now how about you <laughs> I just came back from a similar trip like that. Like, I mean, we went, I earned the Mexico trip. And when it first dropped, I knew um, that it was something that I needed to do. And sometimes they'll throw out an incentive like that. And I'm like, mm, not interested. It's not going to work for it. And sometimes I'm like, I'm going to do that. And so when goal setting, and this is, I think, what we're going to talk about next week, um, because it's going to be a new year coming up, right? You know, so we want to talk about goal setting. Like you want to be specific and you just painted this picture that we can all see ourselves there with you, like where you almost can print out a photo of what that would look like and put it right on your desk, right in front of you, where you stare at it every day. And you're like, until I get there, that is what I'm picturing. And so I feel like there's no other place in the world, but isogenics that has that community that I want to be a part of that has the opportunities that has the income potential that has the people you know all of the things to be able to do things like that and excitingly we have the millionaire girls club coming up and we've talked a little bit both of us if you watch our stories and seen some of our posts it's basically run by people who are millionaires and that are doing really well in business and in industries like ours that are sharing their growth, that are sharing their, their stories, sharing what they've done to help them get to that success. And you may not, you may think like a millionaire, like, I don't want to be a millionaire. Like, I mean, that's fine. This is just about the ability to, to grow to the level of success in which you are happy and fulfill that. And my level of success is different than others. Like I still have a hard time thinking like, I should be a millionaire. I know I want to be a millionaire, but I feel like sometimes I'm like, do I deserve to be a millionaire? Like it's a, it's a difficult thing, but having a group like this, that, that they don't focus on so much the destination, it's the journey. And it's what am I doing today to forward me in the direction that I want to go to reach the destination, which may be different than somebody else's. And so we can share the experience together and support one another through the whole time, through, through the whole thing. And so I was part of this last year. It was all on Zoom. This year we're having um, one in-person event that's going to be in Arizona at New Year's kickoff, which is our big event. And so it's not too late to still come. And we still have plenty of people that are selling their tickets. And I think we're, you know, almost at capacity, but not quite there yet. So we're, we can help you if you're interested in joining us. It'll be in Phoenix, Arizona at uh, uh near the headquarters of isogenics and so me and gabby will be there we're super excited and so that's that's what i'm focusing on i'm focusing on inviting and sharing people this m amazing opportunity and the only buy-in is your health you just have to invest in your health one one time and if you love it you can keep going if you don't at least you learned and got so much value from that one time take a leap of faith i love it
so beautiful. I'm so excited to do this with you too. You guys, we always yeah. have so many, this is the thing we do when you see us, um, we burn our limiting beliefs. It's something we always do. And it's funny because you guys at every level, there's another devil. So I don't want you to look mm -hmm. at us and see like, oh, they're so beautiful and they have so much energy and blah, 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 blah. We have sacrificed and become so uncomfortable Thoughts. to grow to where we are today, to grow and be mm -hmm. confident to like the bodies that we have because we work our butts off for them, right? Like healthy mm -hmm. people are working their butts off to be healthy every single day. It doesn't, it won't just come, right? You have to put mm -hmm. in that effort. You have to put in that consistency. You have to have that hunger. You have to be willing and coachable. So if this interests you at all, it's called the Millionaire Girls Club. I truly believe every woman should do it. Um, we have a, a quick overview video. It's 20 minutes long. You're going to be fired up afterwards. I've watched yeah. it a couple times now. Our friend Emily did it. And it's just encouraging you to dream again and be inspired again and don't self-sabotage anymore. Like let's mm -hmm. elevate together and it's going to challenge you and grow you. And like Sadie said, normally it's like thousands of dollars to get this training. You know, everyone's mm -hmm. trying to sell you something for this. The, the training is literally nothing. It's zero dollars. You just have to invest in your health. So very affordable. Yep. Thank you guys for listening. Sadie, thank you so much for yes. doing this and for having yes. me. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love doing these every Monday and we're switching off on our Facebook pages. So if you're friends with just one of us, go and add the other one because you won't regret it. We both try to do what we can to provide as much value on our pages and, and to share as much as we can with others. And you, you will always walk away feeling like you gained something. So um, definitely suggest that. And we'll put some more information in the chat and feel free to reach out to either one of us um, and we'll answer any questions you have. So thank you for coming on and we'll be back next week. So stay tuned. Bye. Have a good one.